After somebody has approached us about fostering, we'll go out and do an initial visit at their home. We can either go out to their home or we can do the visit virtually. The person that usually does the visit is an experienced social worker. We'll go out and meet them, meet the rest of the family, uh, meet any pets that they might have, have a look around the home and answer any questions they have about fostering. We'll talk about their background. Um, we'll talk about a little bit more about what fostering will involve. The visit usually takes about two hours to complete. And by the end of that two hours, you'll both know whether going forward with fostering is something that you want to do. The social worker will then gather all the information from that first meeting, take it back to the office and unpick it all and put it back together in the form of a report. The family will get a copy of that report and the social worker will submit the report to their team manager. If everyone's happy, we then progress on to stage two. So stage two of the application process is filling out the online application form. Um, so this goes through all the checks that you need to do. So local authority checks, DBS checks, medical checks, um, and they're all statutory checks that need to be completed before you can, can carry on to the next stage. At this stage of the application, at stage two, it's more fact finding. So it's more finding out the information to be able to progress to the more nitty gritty stuff at stage three. So asking things like medical background um, and also asking for full references. So they can be personal references or professional references um, to back up your application. It's really important at this stage to give as much information as possible to help the process run as smooth as possible. The next stage is stage three. So that's the form F stage. That's when a social worker will come out, arrange appointments over um, two, three, four months to come out and see you and your family at a time that's convenient for you so that we get a real flavour of who you are and what you can offer and what you can bring to fostering. They'll sit and talk through your experiences of parenting um, and if you haven't parented children yourself then what experiences have you got of caring for children. They'll talk about how you were parented, the good bits, the not so good bits um, and get to know you and your family and your wider support network as well. And we look at all the strengths that you are bringing to fostering, but then we look at what we can add to that um, and help you to develop. So we offer training. Part of the stage three process is a skills to foster. So that's a, a three day training program that you can go on, which will cover the basic fundamentals of fostering. Everyone's bringing something into fostering, but it's important that we identify the individual aspect of that as well and really grow that with the foster carers. The training is tailored to each family. So we can put together a personal development plan, which is a PDP, where we'll explore the family's strengths and the foster carer's strengths and areas for development and build on those with them. So all the information that's collected as part of the stage three process is then put together in a large report and that's called the Form F. Once it's compiled, it's then sent back to the applicants to have a read through to make sure that they're happy with the content of that. Team managers will read the report as well to make sure that they're happy with the content and that it, it represents the family holistically as it should. And then that report then gets um, sent to panel for them to read. The final stage of the process is panel and recommendation. So the panel is made up of six to 12 independent members and they'll all be from the health and social care sector. The Form F document then gets sent to those panel members and they review it. The applicant and the assessing social worker then attend the panel and they get to ask questions. So the, the applicant can ask questions to the panel and the panel can ask any questions they need to the applicant as well. Um, this usually lasts for around 30 minutes. They're only asking the questions that they think actually may help them in the long run. They may help them get approved because at the end of the day, our end goal is just to get foster carers approved and to get our young people um, looked after properly. So the panel members make a recommendation to the agency decision maker or the ADM um, and they get to make the decision on whether or not that carer is approved um, based on what they've said in their report. Um, from then you wait around one to two weeks for that decision from the ADM and they then tell you if you've been approved or not and then once you're approved the fund starts um, and we can start matching you with young people. I think my message to foster carers would be there isn't one size fits all. If you want to do it, go for it. There isn't a mould to become the perfect foster carer and all of your skills and all your interests and everything that you are passionate about will come to the forefront and that will make you an excellent foster carer.